Commission there is a framework on Green New Deal. Green New Deal. Green New Deal. The Green New Deal. Yes. Environmental group called the Sunrise Movement. It's supposed to be like Sunrise. Sunrise. We're bringing on the Koch brothers because we have an activated Sunrise of Revolution that's taking place. <laughs> the Howard County Green New Deal Town Hall. I'm Iris and I am so happy to have you here learning about the Green New Deal and how we can make this movement in Howard County a reality. So before we get into the Town Hall, I would like to thank our partners, the Hoko Climate Collaborative, Indivisible Hoko MD, Out Revolution for helping us organize this, and also the UUCC for helping to us to sponsor this event. So we'd also like to introduce our speakers. So I'm Iris, as I mentioned. I'm a 15-year-old freshman at Oriel High School, and I am Sunrise Hoko's hub coordinator. Hi, everyone. My name is Aditi. I am a 15-year-old sophomore at River Hill High School, and I am here to support and endorse the Green New Deal. Hi, my name is Daphne. I'm a 15-year-old freshman at River Hill, and I work with Hoko Indivisible um, with their environment and transportation team. Hi, my name is Harshini. I'm also a 15-year-old freshman at River Hill, and I'm a new part of the Sunrise Youth Movement. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a 15-year-old freshman at Wild Lake High School, and I'm here as a part of the Sunrise Movement as well. Hi, my name is Emily Frias. I'm the grassroots coordinator with Chesapeake Climate Action Network. I'm 25, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little older, but <laughs> I'm still young. Um, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Green New Deal as well as the, the Clean Energy Jobs Act that just passed the Maryland uh, legislature. Hi, I'm Bonnie Storak. Um, I'm 15 years old, <laughs> <laughs> and, and they asked me to come and speak to you about ag uh, agriculture policy. Hi, I'm with Alice White. I'm with Howard County Climate Action, one of the partners, as well as the Maryland Sierra Club, and I'm here um, to talk about uh, community solar, some, one of the many things that our group is um, supporting. Okay. So before we get into everything, we want to share the stories of how climate change and our economy is impacting. And I'm gonna start with myself as a young Gen Z teen. It's always been a part of my life, climate change ever since third grade. It has basically broke my innocence. And knowing that I have such strong morals and climate change just destroying all that. And it makes me wanna fight so much to uh, keep my future because Growing up, knowing that anything is possible, I want to be able to achieve anything in my future. It's something I should be looking forward to. And so I want to create a future that I want to look forward to, and that's why I am part of this uh, movement for a Green New Deal. As uh, we've, I've hit been hit hard by climate change myself, as my family has been hit by uh, Harvey down in my hometown of Texas, and also here in Howard County. The 1,000-year floods have been decimating our city, and it should be a wake-up call to action like the Green New Deal. Hi, everyone. As I introduced myself before, I am a DT, and I also learned about climate change in elementary school. And I assumed that our government was taking care of it. I mean, how could they not be? People were dying. Our animals and wildlife were literally going away. And not until three years ago did I realize that climate change wasn't being addressed on such a big scale. It's not being acknowledged or dealt with in the proper way in our government right now. Big oil and gas corporations are lobbying for lighter regulation to make more money at the risk of our lives. Because I find this corrupt iron triangle between bureaucracies, lobbyists, and our own United States government so unfair, I stand with the Green New Deal to make more livable futures for people like us and for you. 
So right now, I would like you to turn to a couple people near you and discuss what brought you into the room today. How are you seeing the impacts of climate change, pollution, and economic inequality in your life and your community? Write it down on the index cards that were given to you and just go ahead.